curse, curse because I'm so my personal. <laughs> Third time's a charm. <laughs> oh, okay, we back, boys. Oh man. <laughs> this temperature we... is excessive. <laughs> yeah, the UK is really not a place to be for streaming right now. It looks like. Checking right now. Can't hear you at all on the stream. Can't hear Seems you. Seems to be fine. You're extremely quiet. Like I, can, you can hear yourself. A bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Okay, so where did we leave uh, left off this time? We looked at the picture, right? We were, yeah, we had looked at the brown KCAL build. That's where they put yeah. it. Uh, do you have a picture, Ashen? <laughs> okay, so as you mentioned before. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so uh, like we mentioned before, like creating those cabinets just gave uh, gave cake up the opportunity for both storage of it uh, like having in, an interesting wall or like a half wall well also it's also just interesting to have the race battery yeah? and I think before the stream crash someone mentioned that they saw a kitchen being raised I re I just refreshed so I can didn't see the chat um so I think someone mentioned that they had a kitchen raised but I think isn't it like counterproductive I couldn't imagine a kitchen to be lifted up like floated up as a like an elevation right because if you think of, if you think about it like going down the stairs with like a plate <laughs> it seems you know, like I, a hazard to me <laughs> i feel like i've seen some genuine real world examples of kitchens being raised in like um kind of like three tier apartment layouts so you'd have like the lounge area at the bottom the kitchen's effectively in like the middle and then the bed area towards the top because it then becomes like the center point Mm -hmm. That might work, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a big kitchen loft, so there was space for dining. Oh, okay, now that makes more sense to me, for example. I think that's a bad Yeah, that's cooler. Uh, I, I like that more. You usually have a living space. You don't have a living space lifted up. That's really, like, for the reasons that you mentioned before, it's like, you don't have to go up with the stairs if you want to go somewhere else of a room, because... Having the living room as the, like the centerpiece of a room to go up from, or like to go up to, it's just like so much better. Okay, Ashton. Oh yeah, I can't hear you. Okay, do you want me to take over? <laughs> because yeah, so have to re -add it. Yeah, she Ashton is gonna try to fix it in a second, guys. So, yeah, don't worry. Tag team stream? <laughs> oh yeah, just going back and forth between every one of us. Yeah. <laughs> I think the uh, like OBS's usage of CPUs just pushing my computer over the oh. edge with this temperature. Have you seen, do you remember when I was first streaming, like doing the little builds of Tori's house? Do you remember seeing my Streamlabs um, CPU usage and the frames that I lose because of it? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Honestly, so, stream, stream software is very abusive on CPU. It is. I think Lumen uh, mentioned earlier too, like, since the update, Windows update, just having Streamlabs open without even actually streaming, it just reduces his, stream, uh, his frames from, like, mm -hmm. 190 to, like, what, 70? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's terrible. Hmm. Yeah, everyone gets it. Does that work? I think this works. Hang on. Yeah, you, we can hear you normally. Okay, Again. good. Fantastic. Nice, I, nice. I did it, boys. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? <laughs> okay, I just want to go through the pictures again, just to see if there's anything we can point out. Just oh, in, like an um... Just a pic Just use pings. <laughs> it's fast. Oh, at least uh, that'll be <laughs> a solution to it. Man, I really want to visit KKL's builds, honestly. Like, there's such a massive inspiration when it comes to working with level levels, honestly. I, when it, 
I gotta say this when it comes to cake how everything's really smart the yeah. it's, it's really space. apparent in like the custom furniture the cabinets and everything there's a lot of obscuring being done and the levels are actually being used for that and it's it's just really smart usage of how it's laid out yeah it's so cool how they do it and just like every, everything about it like every time they do something it's custom it's completely custom and interesting <laughs> which i really like it's something that they love their pastel colors I well it's custom because you're they're using mostly the walls which are the greatest invention of all time but <laughs> 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 yeah, they're using a mixture between the marble walls and the Rekenga walls. That was surprising to me, because like in the uh, bottom left picture, I like I dug deeper and like looked closer, right? Yo, thank, thank you so much for the um, subscription, uh, QK. Oh, QK, hey! Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you so much. Um, and they used like the colors specifically so they match with the Rekenga partitions. And that was so cool, because it's something that I never really noticed before. Yeah, I think the only other person I've seen matching up marble with stuff like that is... I mean, BJ does it a lot. He trims with uh, tiny bits of marble. Man, those All tiny marble... Time. Yeah. Those tiny marble trims are so good though, right? Oh yeah, when you, when you cut it down from like the huge chunk that it is, it changes its usage so heavily. Really yeah, I... Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't like how it is like that. Also, the um, house is closed while we built. Yeah, so I can't, can can't visit, see. sorry. <laughs> Some people can actually see what we built. Oh, should I open it? I mean... Eh. Some people asked earlier, uh, so... Well, right now, we right now, it is a work in progress. I'm building something, so it's really hard to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Um, sorry. Should, we sh should we show off the area that you prepared for that? Or is it your work in progress, your secret work in progress? Oh, well, there's nothing there, it's just stairs right now. Yeah, I know, but like, the stairs are good. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, so... It's an example of elevation. I guess. Alright, so I'm trying to show a... <laughs> I'm trying to do a panel wall sh built-in shelf with a window right here. And what I had an idea was... The shelf would start, like, right here. And I don't think I can do a panel wall, <laughs> just by virtue of it. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try. I will try. But I really want this to be a recessed shelf with the window, some plants right here, and that's all I have so far. I might do a closet door right here. That's it. Oh, and this you know is going to be a living room. Oh, I love it so much. You know what I was thinking about? Like, I love those diagonal walls that you can create because you can put up. Okay, can, can I can I touch things? But I'm not gonna move what you built. I'm just adding things. Okay. So you can sure. yeah, yeah. Okay. So this, as an example, to fill out that corner with the stairs, Yeah, right? there we go. This is something like that, and also, I'm gonna join this from the room next time. I'm gonna put it back, don't worry. Um, as, since you have, like, a diagonal wall, and custom-made diagonal wall, like an elevated floor, uh, something like... This is something that I noticed, like, I love doing recently, and that people love to do this in Sims, is this. Just, like, going with a shape of the wall going up. Yep. I really dig that. I'm such a big, I'm such a nerd for this stuff. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm just, just gonna, like that. I'm gonna throw this out there. We we did this in the HGXIV house months ago now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, <laughs> but still. Well, it, it, it didn't have this wraparound stuff, and that's what he's. What is? Yeah. That? <laughs> I don't know why you have it. <laughs> don't let me. You have it in your. I think you probably did it for like a mirror. Most likely, right? Yeah. C can't <laughs> unfortunately do it on the white rectangular partitions. Oh. Yeah, just, just, you can get rid of things as you want to now. I just wanted to, like, make examples. Maybe, like, put it even, like, here and put something kind of, some kind of storage here. Maybe, like, in a fake umbrella stand or something in the corner. You can make so many things with custom corners, <sighs> dude. Oh. You need to do a Harry Potter cupboard. Oh, or, like, that Namazu one. Where was I was thinking about it recently. I wanted to make a Harry... I think I mentioned to you guys, like, months ago, where I was like, you know what, I want to build a Harry Potter staircase, <laughs> like, with, a, with like, a, the bat below it and stuff like that. And I think I'm, I actually am going to do it at some point. I just need to figure out how. The house I used to live in when I was a kid had a proper cupboard under the stairs. Huge cupboard. Yeah. I mean, you I'm know... English, so, no, so obviously, but... <laughs> 
you know uh, Jenna Marbles, the YouTuber? Yeah. Uh, she made like she had one of those covers below the staircase too, and she turned it into a little like a house for her dogs. Oh. Like with like with like a couch and stuff like that. <laughs> it was so cute. I thought I had a plant, but I guess not. Just imagine a plant right there. Oh, nice. That's really cool there. Yeah. Just imagine a plant right there. <laughs> Just growing stuff. That's a great example, though. I like it a lot. Yo, thank you so much for the uh, subscription, Iglesian. Third month in a row, so you basically- Wait, is that the third month since we actually set up subscriptions on, on uh, HX7? I think it's a little more than that. I don't Man. remember. Oh wait, no, sub started in December? Oh, really? Yeah, I think- Oh, it's I've... been a long time. Yeah, you know what? It's terrible. I hate- I hate 2020. It's been <laughs> it's been messing with my sense of time so much. So, oh my god! It's only I, August. We have, we have four months left. It feels like it's what do you mean it's only point. August? It was March last week. Exactly. Yeah. But it's my issue with it too. Oh All right, god. but yeah, um, elevated floors into it. It, I believe, it's something that you can do in an apartment, an FC chamber, quite easily. Don't be scared that you're cutting off space, you're just adding. Yeah, many people fear the, hey, I have so much room available to me, I don't want to shrink it down, but trust me, a big open space is nothing compared to a detailed small space with different levels. Like, it's nothing like it. I know that smaller people, like people who just start out of housing notice it too. And man, you have no idea, so many people I follow recently are like, hey, I started floating stuff. Man, that's complicated. Holy, <laughs> like, how do I? How am I actually gonna do it? And struggling with it. It's so interesting to see how people get into housing. And the first thing they try is like glitching stuff because, man, the opportunities to get you get and to make things look interesting in your apartment room, even just, just immense. All right. Well, I mean, what else can we really explain and show with elevation? The ceiling stuff you want to talk about. <sighs> is it necessary? The only one I can really think of that's in close by is the HDXIV house. Yeah, I don't think there's one... I'm trying to think Man, I keep forgetting the, the location of that one rotunda by, uh, lab library. And I keep forgetting who did it because they just uh, appeared and disappeared again. What was it, it on light? Like? Oh, the, the, was, the, the Crystarium one? The, no, not the Crystarium one. The one with, like, the amazing marble green library with, like, the round ceiling. Uh, ceiling. Oh, with, like, yeah. The that was on shape. Lich. Was that on Lich? Yeah. I forget who made it. Alex? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, it was, yes, yeah, it was Alex. It is it was Alex. Alex. But do you know the location since? I can find it really quickly because I was having oh, a conversation God. about this house the other day, actually. Perfect. Let's let's visit that because that's like in a great example for man. This house had like the ceiling had like five or four different uh, like levels <laughs> to it, and that was a massive inspiration for me too. That is that was great. That was done like sure shortly that. after the flood. Perfect. So where is it? It's lich lavender bats can i post this in i'm gonna yeah, post this in post it so it's, it is there okay yeah, is it still up uh, i hope so I can get that. we're gonna visit you guys gonna come along even if it's demolished <laughs> let's see i can actually come with like a coke tray i have on light now forgot that li <laughs> already forgot that chat tank is here now Uh, yeah, Lich is on the light data center, so yes. if you guys want to visit. Uh, let's see, Shiva, there you go. You said Lavender Bets? Yes, yeah, Lavender, Lavender, Lavender Bets, 417, plot 57. Yep. Man, I really hope it stands. That's one of the most impressive ceilings I've ever seen in this game, being built by anyone. It's like, and it's been like such a predecessor, like, it's been such, so ahead of its time too. Like, it was done months, like, almost a year ago, even. Yeah, so, I mean, the reason I was on about this the other day is it's one of the first houses I saw where I actually genuinely felt impressed by it. It was one of the first, like, glitch-heavy houses I'd gone into, aside from, like, Feng's work. And I was and having bang. a bit of a... 
I was having a bit of a, you know, kickback, reminiscing. Oh, it it's still was... stuck with me. Is that the reason why you talk? Like you talked to someone about it recently? You yeah. said. Yeah, I was just reminiscing. It's so good when you can do it though. Go on my load screens. Working on my memoirs. <laughs> memoirs? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Is it about to die from heat stroke yet? No, yeah. no I, I don't have that issue. I have AC. Oh no, I meant I meant to sit specifically. Oh. <laughs> the, all right, this heat wave has taught me something. I am incredible with the heat compared to nearly everybody in England. You're like everyone else is dying, basically. Is everyone is completely dying, and I'm I'm only mildly dying. I mean, you're mildly. Mildly. otherwise. <laughs> I'm just dying. I'm just like, oh, might need to have a sippy. Everyone else is just like. <laughs> Everyone else is, you know, they've melted to the floor at a certain point before now. Oh, no. Well, like, you saying that in such a British way, too, I need to have a sippy. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> it was so good, dude. <laughs> okay, 57, was it, yeah? 57. The closest E for right is um, Lavender Northeast, by the way. Which way am I going? Oh, this way. Oh, fuck it. I said that I said to pee to nor <laughs> Northwest. And subdivision, of course. Alright, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> this light character was meant to be a functioning Wait, right. but I didn't unlock this. <laughs> Wait, what? Me? Me. Oh, yeah, oh, right, you, you played this... on light before, right? Yeah, this character's meant to be a functioning ult to, like, do uh, second sets of savages. Oh, right. Well, Faye and Fiavis, right? Yeah. We should build an R uh, AC. Just for you, like in game. <laughs> <laughs> Use using the carpet box, like, uh, and the um, wooden plates, and the. Uh, what was it called? The. Uh, L tab? Just three items. Wow. Yeah. This is what um, Oats did in her post apocalyptic thing. That was really cool. I the garden looks very decorated. I think it's still up, so. Garden looks amazing, by the way. I'm really liking that. Yeah, one. this is this is how the garden was. I remember that. Wait, yeah, which eighth right was it? This hasn't changed. Uh, uh, Northeast Andrew... sub. Yeah, Northeast sub. It is. Oh, it is sub. Oh my god. Yo, and there's small elevated spaces here, by the way. So oh, this place is so so good. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm almost there. Yeah, don't worry. I've never been actually, or have I? Mm. How do you like my girly and bench scent? It's very cool. Yeah, right? I'm max size here. It's so good. Oh, what a cute <laughs> little porch. It's so nice, right? I didn't like, get to really thing. appreciate it. Yeah, there's a big need to see the interior. Dude, it's just so gorgeous. Like, look at this beauty. Wow. Obviously. Just having a layer there with the books, and then continuing those layers to the ceiling for this rotunda. Man, I'm so in love with this, you have no idea. It's so gorgeous. And using the uh, knight's table there. And look how perfectly the um, the framing for it works there because of the um, archway, the marble archway. That's just so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I don't mean to interrupt, but look at little Alpha trying to turn the light off. Oh my god. Oh, I, 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 oh, I didn't notice until now, holy. Oh, it's so good. He's actually trying to turn it on. That's so cute. Oh. Man, this place is one of my favorites. Like, not even exaggerating, dude. Oh, and look at this. A nice little elevated spot. Yeah, that's what I meant with, the, with like, the curved staircase yeah. going on. Just like a chill out area, just like the bags here and like the record player. Dude, the record player. I've remembered why I was thinking about this, Div. It was when we did our QA. Mm hmm. When I was trying to pull a list of houses, I contemplated this one. Oh, yeah. But it, <laughs> oh, of course you would do that because it's just like such a staple. I keep thinking about this house. Like, look at the ceiling, too, again. Yeah, the layers. Detailed. The levels in the ceiling. 
Like, like we mentioned before, having a flat ceiling is, isn't just everything. Having a tall ceiling, but actually having different levels of re leading up to it, man, that was amazing. So, what in, in this case, his, uh, his levels are functional with the books. I've seen, mm -hmm. we pointed out before with K-Call, he has the storage that he likes to hang from the ceiling. He'll make, like, uh, cabinets and yeah. stuff like that. Like So that is an alternative that you can do as well. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, book, uh, bookshelves. This is the only bookshelf use I that can you, say... That you, that you can sub to? <laughs> no, I, I can, I, I've seen many uh, bookshelf uses that I can sub to, but this is by far the best. Because it just it, it flows perfectly into the ceiling. I just I just love it. Yeah, the fireplace was amazing too. Someone mentioned that just now. Yeah. Using the uh, using the uh, Southern kitchen and the uh, piano, it's just so good, dude. I love it so much. I'm glad I got it's... to check this out. Yeah, have you been here before, Ashen? No, it's my first time. Oh, oh my god. Hey, Alex, Virgin. Okay. <laughs> I think I remember. Yeah. Man, this was done. Yo, this was done. If oh my god, we are we are f a few days early, on the um, August twenty eighth last year. Wow. This is how far back? Like this is almost exactly a year ago. And it's still so cutting edge, honestly. Like this is by far. Oh my. Ah, <laughs> I'm in love, dude. It's so good. So gorgeous. No, this is all of the house. It's an FC or is it a house? It is an FC. It is an FC, yeah. It's... But it's like a mid house, right? Medium, yeah. Honestly, this yeah. is a perfect usage of space for an FC. Look how much room there is. There's places for people to sit. It kind of satisfies yeah. the the jumping, climbing aspect. Mm hmm. I like that a lot. Like people probably go like this around the house, like yeah. just being like this constantly. <laughs> This is what I do, too. Just jumping up to this ladder here. That's so nice, dude. Like... I think this is one of my favorite mid houses. Of all time. Without... Without a doubt. Like... I even make mid houses smaller than this, and I can't get as cool looks in as this one. Also, I wonder if they have, like, a cool apartment from... Let me go check real quick. There is an apartment up from, uh... There's Malax. one. Yeah. An attempt at Ishgard. <laughs> okay, well, hang on, I gotta check this out. It's been, yeah, it's been that long, Dayu. It's like, wow. I mean, yo, I remember. Yo, okay, I remember this. I remember this. Wait. Yeah, I remember this. Also, an elevated area <laughs> in an apartment, by yeah, the way. Check this out. All right. This is a very easy. Uh, ooh, look at that. Look, look at that item economy with the shelf and the piano. Yeah, it's so good, right? Like, so smart to use it, like, as an actual feature. Oh, I remember this because I really like the table. The yeah, the, ta here. the table design using... So, this is what we meant. We She she couldn't float it through the floor to make a custom floor shape. So what... Uh, she? He? What they did uh, is just float the actual floor up to make a custom shape on the floor. Which is amazing. It's so good, dude. Yeah, and it, it hits, you know, the minimum requirement, which thankfully a lot of oh. this stuff is not too terrible. Yeah, look, they did the um, typewriter. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. Aww. That's so cute. And they also did the, um, the windows. So yeah. I, lo I, lo I love this chest plate, by the way. That looks real cool. This play set here, just like with four on each. Like, this is what it's supposed to be made for, but they were so, so big. Like, look at my character, for example. Like, I could- I have to, like, pick one up with, like, both of my hands. Well, you put them on a, a map when you're declaring war. It's one of those. Things. Yeah, I, I know, I know, but, like, I wish we would have, like, a certain, like, a chess set, but, like, you know, we don't have a game in the game. Oh, you so. know what? So, I'm an adder, and I know it's in a lot of other places, too, but in the barracks, in the adder barracks, they have playing cards, and I really want that. They do? Yeah, it's really cute. I don't think I remember seeing this. That would be amazing. Yeah, this is an FC room. Uh, Darth. Oh, like Bex. Yeah. That's an FC room. That's very impressive. It's just a, a, the only FC room in here. <laughs> I remember coming to visit this probably the best part of a year ago. Same. I, Lore I, showed, I, I think Lore showed it to me back in yeah, the day. Yeah, Lore, um, 
Lord visited on one of her streams. Like I don't, I don't think I was even building at the time. Like I was, I was just gen lurking. Some sort of general interest, like yeah. It's been, this thing's been up for so long. I don't know. I found this really impressive back then, and even now, just it's so just sensible. it's just smart. That's yeah. all I can really say about it. It's really smart. Man, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna, like, take a bunch of screenshots just for inspiration's sake, and especially for layouting, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's okay. Look, also, can we go back to... Let's go back to the FC, um, because I want to find out something important. Let's see. Oh, we already have someone visiting. <laughs> Oh, it's Dayu. Hey, Dayu. <laughs> Yo, look at this transition. Like, this is what I mentioned earlier with, like, the open room concepts and how they're, like, sectioning off to different rooms and branching off to different rooms. Like, this is... Like, you could consider it a different room, yeah, but, like, look at how big the actual transition area is. Like, that's massive, dude. Yeah. Just, like, it flows together perfectly, everything. That's gorgeous, man. I've... I, man... I know I really want to build a ceiling like that, but I know how how much work it was. So that's gonna that's a bit terrifying. <laughs> but I've I've built some very very heavy ceilings so far. It's very interesting. Like you don't even notice the time that goes by that I actually sink into it because it's like very interesting to do. Actually, uh oh, I was about to say let's visit it, but it's been turned turned down uh, turned down sadly. Oh yeah, the ceiling. Oh, I did show you a picture. I think I posted a picture if you want to show it. Uh, yeah, let me grab it. Hold on. This was your Garlean build, right? Yeah. And you built it on stream, some parts of it. Did I build a ceiling on stream? I did parts of it you on stream. You did a lot of ceiling on stream, yeah. I was there for quite a bit of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of how much it was, but it was like I think the majority of us of the actual house went into a ceiling, <laughs> including money. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. I used uh, very many different layers there too. So uh, I used the benches as like the first layer, I guess, like the metal parts of it. Then the benches, sitting parts on the next one, and then <laughs> another one using the. Um, storm benches for the ventilation and then I just kept going up and up and up but just like not constantly on the same level but just like always be going a bit higher but not all the way to the ceiling to have a steep growth so just said uh, just at some point I cut it all basically yeah also yo Ash I wanted to bring this up to you we what? predicted the set transmission from 5.3. Oh, yeah, we, that, that was us, we, guys. The Zoom call, it was us. If you go back to the, uh, the VODs, you can you can hear us talking about, like, oh, yeah, this is a hangar, right? And you, like, talk to Sid with, like, for a Zoom. <laughs> this was made for the trailer. <laughs> totally wasn't, but, like, we'd like to think about it like that. Yoshi was watching the VODs, don't worry. Yeah, Yoshi P is <laughs> actively watching AJX Heavy, by the way, so... <laughs> it's, where, it's where he got all of his ideas, like, oh yes, they do based need upon, this. Based upon his recent house visiting, I'm not sure that is the case. Uh, sh 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. He's like, uh, what? You guys use weapons? And, and yeah. you, you put them you on the walls? The that, at, least, at least it opened his eyes to like actually give us proper weapon displays, because we're... Damn. Yeah, uh, they've, said that, they've said they've done it, give it three years. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Where, where's but, the yards that they promised? Where are where are the custom like play community gardens that they promised for like over sh like two years and everything? <laughs> um, Ari really Shaw like asked, "Does this build basically nullify the use of your upstairs and downstairs in a Mickey Mouse?" Yeah, but given given what you are actually being shown, you don't need an upstairs or downstairs. Like honestly, because first of all, the layer of, it makes it hard to decorate to such a detail with like an upstairs and downstairs and honestly with such an interesting and amazing space to ch chill in do you really need it so honestly i think the number one fight in housing is the battle between detail and size yeah yeah and just cutting out those two other floors so you can focus on the one it's best of both worlds isn't that really 
It is. Like, people value the um, size of the house way too much. As in, oh, I've put in so much money, so I want to use all of the space I get because this is what I paid for, right? But in the end, if you think about it, as, as soon as you start get, getting into housing very in-depth, uh, you gotta, you will notice that you just don't have the opportunity to make the staircase look as interesting as you think and putting enough detail into everything you do. And like yeah. make everything custom. That's a big part about floating things through the floor and up to the ceiling. You will notice how it's gonna interfere with each other. So if you want to make things look very cool and unique, you just have to make sacrifices. And having the opportunity to build something like a one floor build on a mid house, you that you just can't do it in a small, and you don't have the size of a large. It's still gonna be unique to your size of house. It's just not gonna use all the space. And honestly, are you, what are you gonna prefer? Using all the space but have a half-ass decoration or have a very detailed one floor? Yeah. You know, speaking of space, um, Sin had just finished his build and I was looking around and it just seems so spacious, even though it's a one floor build. And I've been yeah. in one floor builds, you know, the basement and the top floor is gone and it's still kind of like, okay, but where's your slots? And, uh, but <laughs> and the thing is though, and he didn't even build over the stairs for maximum space. He still used the natural structure, like in the back of a medium, which is, I find very narrow. So it's, uh, it's just interesting how much space is being afforded there. So it doesn't feel like you're pent in. It still feels like you're, you bought what you paid for. If that makes sense. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Speaking of which, Again, we mentioned before, it's like making open floor concept still makes it look big and open while having just one floor. Uh, should we go and check out since new was built? Yes, we no, shall. Please. I saw this coming. <laughs> you, knew you? <laughs> you knew the transition. You never You know me, I'm gonna transition since. Let me prepare my notepad. <laughs> <laughs> Your notepad? Oh my god. Because right you, down. Okay, so your thing about making it seem big, there is a, there's a reason for that. There's a way I've done that. It's because you pushed the entry so far. It's exactly because I pushed the entry. Right, I know. Papa <laughs> just said because um, I thought it was so clever, and I'm gonna be. I was taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Papa just said in chat that um, they wish they would give us more items to work with, but it's probably not happening with Xbox. Um, I think the new Xbox has some pretty sick graphics things, and I don't think they're gonna make it for the current generation of Xbox, honestly, because we already sacrificed PS3. I don't think they want us to be pulled back by something like that, honestly. I have a very good feeling they're going to increase item slots. A hundred percent. They have been told that directly on stream when he was visiting houses, and he was like, I guess we should do that. It, it, like, it has to we happen. Should do that. Yeah, it ha like, with the amount of items they give us, we can't just make compromises constantly, constantly removing things that we built previously, but just like having to remove certain things. Of course, we can't just keep adding stuff to our house without any limitation, right? But we have unrealistic limitations to houses. And like, also, well, it's just as you said, we're getting newer and newer consoles. Things are getting phased out. The housing and like a lot of the system uh, limitations they're gonna- it's just gonna be raised. I will- <laughs> I will say this because I have very high reservations about the number of slots they can actually give us. 50. <laughs> it's 2020, the game has server ticks. <laughs> okay. Oh like, my god, yeah, okay. I'm just saying. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, Please you're right. don't get your hopes up and be like, we're gonna get 800 slots on a large, it's gonna no. be incredible. Oh, never, like, never. It's, it's not happening. <laughs> I think Aww. I think talking like I think talking like fifty for a small, a hundred for a medium more, and like a hundred fifty for a large, if if not two hundred or something, you know. Just no limit. <laughs> just low, yeah. Just let let's just people go wild. Let's, let's just crash people's brick PS3s. Just brick PS5s. <laughs> don't don't worry, guys. When we get Final Fantasy fourteen two, it'll be worth it. We're gonna get our eight hundred slots. This is 14-2, you're about 14-3. 14-3, yeah, sorry, the unofficial title. Dave said it would be so long to use 800 slots. Oh no, definitely no. not. No. <laughs> no. 
That's, go that's going into the ceiling. <laughs> that's have... going into the walls, the ceiling, the floor, everything will be detailed. <laughs> I have a build in my head that I genuinely need about 700 slots for. So... Yeah, you mentioned it. Wait, didn't you yeah. say for this house, actually? <laughs> nah, not this one. Like, I'm genuinely... Oh. Alright, let's mention this to Ashen the other day. I'm considering building it in two parts. I'll build oh, yeah, half of it in yeah. one house, half in the other, and then I'll just I'll just slap them together. I told him I told him don't do that because someone's gonna accuse him of modding. They're gonna look at it and be like, this is too dense. I'm kind of I kind of uh, considered this for uh, Rhapsody Scurry in house actually, <laughs> but I kind of moved away from that like a little bit, but it still helps, you know. Oh man, this place. I saw the screenshots, and I didn't spend much time on looking at the screenshots, in, right? So this is a commission you worked on, right? For yep. uh, for for the Kiwi from uh, T... Uh, T uh... The Kiwi. TD... TTD... Technical TD? Difficulties. What, no, oh. it's like it's like a raider that I know. Oh, and also... Like, uh... Sint built a lot of this on stream. I did. Yeah, he built lots of it, especially the kitchen mainly, right? Because yeah. that that place is so it's like fully custom made, like that's a great example of a completely custom made stuff. And how much item slots do you think so actually went into it, or you could say sunk into it? I can tell you. <laughs> tell me. Oh, I want to know. I really want to know. Uh, in the kitchen alone. Did you overheat, or do you think? <laughs> I've got, I've got a count. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought he wrote I, it down on his notepad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Refer to your notes in section A. He's like, he's like, like licking his finger, like, hang on, let me check, and then he's like, okay. in, in that tiny little cabinet area. So the fridge, the top cabinets, the bottom cabinets, the counter is 30, uh, 34 slots. 34? So, yeah, it's not that bad. Oh no, that's not that bad actually. Yeah, Considering it's like fully custom made. I built, I built smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool though, how you actually got so much in there. Man, I love yeah, this but place. I burnt eight slots on cutting boards for horizontal handles because I want viable handles. It's worth it. It was so worth it. That is a good yeah. economy. Well, I, th I think it's worth it that um, if you guys were watching while he built on stream, the ceiling was a lot higher than it was and yes. he lowered it. Yeah, I did. Um, it makes the framing much better of a variety. Yes. Yeah. So. I opened. I decided to opt for this kind of open uh, ceiling in the middle to allow it to breathe more. When I when I first initially started like mapping stuff, it was more flat, which was just first of all not very interesting, but it felt really boxy. Oh, did it? I can yeah, imagine. That so, it did, yeah. the point is that now with this kind of open bit in the middle, it changes like the whole kind of feel of it. It opens it up, it makes the ceiling more dynamic. It's a level. Ha! <laughs> you know, this is where level design comes in. Emo, there's seams everywhere, don't even. This game has limitations. I don't <laughs> oh my I, I, I do not use grid snap. Yeah, this dude is like... Uh, he really doesn't like grid oh, snap, Oh, it's dude. Dayu. I was like, who is this dapper? <laughs> who's, who's, who's this dapper? Rougher. <laughs> Man, but this is so good. Look at how the very slight elevation just going down from just going up as you you get popped up as you like spawn into this room, right? Yep. So it's yes. like so you already spawn spawn in an elevated area. Yeah, that's what Ash was on about with kind of changing the feel of it. Mm. I've obviously I've moved the initial door in so far and up at the same time. The instead of getting that kind of like narrow corridor, which everyone kind of tends to have to circumvent, it's I it's love. it's not long. At all. Mm -hmm. You're it's you're two steps forward. You're into the actual house, but it is very good. Here's uh, how, here's how far you are from the door. <clears throat> yeah, you can go pretty far out, and uh, for doors really, but sometimes you have to go like closer to the door to actually exit. I noticed. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have gone further. Genuinely, yeah. I could have gone further. <laughs> I like how Baxter chair actually looks like a Baxter chair of all of the uh, wooden. <laughs> oh, th this house is a mess from outside. <laughs> oh yeah, we should take a look at it too in a second. <laughs> I just love to see when people notice. I think, I think there's a cool. whole section you haven't even been in yet, isn't there? Yeah, I'm in the bedroom now. I really like this, like this little okay. turn. The little turn and then going down to like a few steps, only just two steps down. And it's just so different. And <laughs> damn, how do you click the exit from so far? <laughs> you can. It's targetable. 
Yeah. yeah. And look at oh, the seating area. This is so clean and tidy too. Like not much clutter, but actually using the actual structure for the decoration. That's so much better than just over cluttering your space unnecessarily. Because that's also not how modern designs look. Because modern designs are all about that storage, dude. Like having all that hint storage around and just placing everything where it's supposed to be and keeping it as minimalistic as possible. You capture that so well in this build, in my opinion. Like, people always go for this. They still add a bit of clutter to their modern house, which is sometimes way too much, considering how the real life equivalents look like. But this is the perfect mixture of simple and details for the structure. I just I like to play with levels. I think that's I think that's pretty much a known thing from every time I've built yeah. kind of stuff anyway. I like to play with levels, especially when it comes to modern. This is more limited than I was gonna. Uh originally the bedroom was gonna be lofted, like up further than this platform. Oh. Um my logic on that was privacy. But I encountered issues that made it completely impossible to do it so that's why i decided to kind of opt for that step down and that wrap around but doing that kind of step down as well allowed me to drop the ceiling on the other side as well so it's not the same height the whole way through which obviously then changes the feel of this room compared to the other one i see okay that, in that case that makes sense sometimes just the limitations are just too much to handle and uh what are those limitations exactly what were they like uh my actual ceiling because of where the the open box is in the main room uh i had ceiling ah. coming through into the other room and i couldn't oh if I, yeah if, mm, if i, I moved see. myself past it i was making such a small bedroom yeah i see because of the actual um maths the floor mats yeah. right yeah, yeah. okay I, I can tell i can tell yeah also um Sorry to everyone who just followed us earlier. Um, thank you so much for the follows. We just didn't see it because we don't have the uh, things popping up on the screen right now. Oh, thank you so it's much. not. Yeah, sorry. I was recording a video and I took. Yeah, so I've, I've been recording videos using Streamlabs, but people follow us so much that like when it's like on an off app time <laughs> that it just pops up and I'm just like, oh my god, I just spent 30 <laughs> minutes on this video. <laughs> oh no, did oh oh god, okay. But yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. Here, let me. Uh, yeah, I'll put it back up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Since, can I rent one of your brain cells sometime? It's like, <laughs> Ma but mom said it's my turn of a brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> Kai, there's, there's no point. Like, but don't. <laughs> so, did you show this to um to the Kiwi yet? No, they've they've seen some pictures. Uh, but they're actually I think they're like asleep or at work or. I mean, they look nice, even, but I, so. I don't even know. <laughs> What are the times on Seagram there, so? It's like, they're only like 12 hours out for me, so... Oh, okay. About lunchtime. Also, I wanted to say, I said this to you when I first looked at the pictures, that framing for the TV screen, that's just gorgeous, man. I know it's simple, but like, you just framed like two layers of rectangle walls, right? Yeah. But it's still so efficient, and the reflection, again, that's, I think the reflection is the new meta for like TVs and stuff. Everyone's gonna build recessed TVs with bad reflection in there. I hope so, I love because it. It's, yeah. it's so gorgeous, I'll, I'll, right? I would say the reason I framed it is because it's recessed. Uh, having so seen a bunch, showing up? Having seen a bunch of people <gasps> make them now, I wanted to make it look like it's intentionally recessed by putting an edge to it. It's really good though. I, nice I need to come back. I think you're a vampire. I didn't no, no, see. she just she she, st she didn't stand in front of it. You have to stand in a certain angle to actually. Yeah, actually, yeah, I just saw scent. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but look at how you can actually see the room. You can. Reflection. I can see the table. I can see the chairs. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. Building that TV taught me that the water refractions are fundamentally broken. Yeah, very, it's very yeah. normal. The side of the aquarium is covered. It don't make no sense. Check mm -hmm. the angles. It's like 270 degrees. What yeah. is that? <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it is weird. You're right. Man, you've no you know what I just noticed too? Like, I think the past two days on Twitter, people have built those fake mirror walls. They did a Minecraft all the way back in like 2012. Like, they do the mirror section, right? And they repeat and mirror the entire room on the other side of the wall. So it looks like a mirror. Um, oh, hang on, yeah, can yeah, I yeah, yeah. Do you see? Can I put, show one on stream, actually? Uh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, God, I think I hope. 
Mar- I need Mar- to go for Matcha. <laughs> matcha, yeah, Matcha. Matcha did it? Upon. Matcha did it. It's- it's- I, I've seen it since, like, ARR. <laughs> like, you remember people would do, like, the full mirror build? Yeah, but people- but people gave up on it, and like because of course it was shitty with all the limitations. But now that we have like clean things to actually work with, it's so much better. It's still like, going so from... it's still so niche though. I know it's like it's a bit hard because of course you're not gonna see yourself in there. It's more of a I take a screenshot of it and call it done thing, sadly. Hang on, I'm trying to find it on my Twitter. What was much as uh, just, uh, Twitter just, called? Just link the Twitter in uh, chat. I can't find it for Twitter. Okay, I found it. Never mind. Uh, I linked it in chat for you guys so you can see it. It's really, really good. <laughs> if those were coming back, that would be interesting. <laughs> it's like, for, there's not even a room, it's like a box. <laughs> because it's a concept. Really liking that one. You're actually a vampire, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pull it on the screen if you can. Uh, yeah, hold on, let me grab the picture. Do we have any other examples to visit of a level uh, I that's not, like, crazy? I saw... Um... So we have K-Cop. Oh, what's her name? I saw them today. I saw them today in the tags of, um... F 14 Japanese housing tag. What was it even? Isn't, like, isn't, like, housing 2 just in Japanese? Let's see. Are we talking levels and ce uh, ceilings too? In that case, hmm. I like one that is like very, very subtle. Um, show me. Want me to link the tweet again, Ashen, for this one? For uh, yeah, sure. There's another good one. Thank you so much for the uh, follow, Caramel Panda. Uh, this one is just like very subtle elevations too. Just very, very small ones. Look at how the steps work in that. Oh, in the entry. In the third picture, yeah, yeah, where you enter through the glass door, where you probably will be, like, lofted up. That's really cool. Just using the marble walls for the stairs and, like, the wooden lofts. Very clean and very nice elevated space. Just, it, like, it separates the, um, the entrance so much from the actual living space, because it would be hard to, like, make the transition smooth without losing, using a different floor, or, like, a floor mat or something, right? That's really cool. I love it. Um, let's see. Those. What's that? That altar. The Naldthal. People like to use that, and that's a very, very simple way to kind of make a, like an elevation. A small bump. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good for that too. Yeah, I, I used it a lot for doors too in the past. Let's I, see. Yeah, I remember yeah. you would use it even in the middle of the room for like a closet or something like that, and uh, that was something I noticed. Like just super simple. <laughs> you don't have to go below and in, in, into a space. You can just use something like that. You can use wooden beams and create little tiny steps. I didn't use it for a closet. I actually used, made it look like a door transition, but it looked it looked so shitty that it looked like a closet. It did look like people. a closet. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's terrible. I, I know. I know. I know. I. It just how, it just to be like that. <laughs> Okay, here's another one, another great example. Uh, it's very similar to K-Cap cells, but a bit more open, like less confined. So this is probably in a large or a mid. It's really cool. V -v -v cars are popping, dude. They also posted a version without the bright turquoise colors. Very clean, very nice. Oh, god. Uh, hold on. Oh, that's, that's big. A diff special, but reversed. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right. <laughs> so they use the elevation for the actual like. Um, That's clever. Look how look how they do the concept. shelves too. Mm -hmm. They have shelves. Cool. They have a little recessed area for the TV. It's kind of hard to see because of the texture. Yeah, it's a bit weird, right? I I don't know, but everything else is just amazing. Man, those colors hurt my eyes. It's Ooh, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but at least I posted the pool. Yo, there is someone who built like an elevated space to make a pool. Did you see that? Yeah, and un unfortunately that's what, that's what you have to do. Or I, I saw Uta do it. Uh, I'm just oh, gonna you, you spam mean, it. Oh, you mean recently? Yeah, 
like on Jul July. Or I'm just gonna say those colors were giving me horrible RuneScape vibes. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah, you're right. <laughs> Probably. Let me link another one. This is another great one. This is the one with a pool. <laughs> I just yeah. like the concept of it. So like, when, it, when, it, when it comes to pools, though, well, actually, that's fake water, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Yeah. I think that's so funny, dude. <laughs> that's cute. Because, yeah, even if you want to do, like, an elevated pool or, like, a sunk-in pool into a floor, you have to elevate it because of the high requirement. Mm -hmm. It's stupid high. Yeah, yeah, I don't like there's, there's not really like any sort of water source that's like actually pretty low, is there? Mm -hmm. More than sizable. Which is a shame, honestly. Yeah, so you're either building a fake floor or you're putting it really high. There's no in between. But regardless, it's not a. It's forcing you into levels. I'm starting to look at if there's something. Something. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What is the. Ah, oh, damn. What was it called? The. Uh, the, not the pirate ship, the um, the steampunky uh, commanding center with like the rear, uh, rearing wheel. Do you remember this? Oh, one? The timber. One. Yeah. What's the timbers? Okay, uh, the, that's the one. that's the user. Something timber. Oh my god! Diagram timber. Yep. Diagram. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let me post this last one to spam you guys in Twitch chat. I'm sorry about that. I just want you guys to actually see those because those are just amazing. We just want to lift your spirits and your ideas to the sky as you elevate your, your game. <laughs> Man, this is so good. Look at this. How the stairs go around the corner. All right, well, this is, this is just crazy, though. That, that is, like, absolutely mad, but hey, it's it looks amazing, so why not show us another mad lad example? D I, I am not those who are. <laughs> I struggle, I know, like, barely, like, uh, maybe it was this person, but not exactly. I, I, I don't remember a lot of things, but for some reason I remember so much housing. It's like a weird, <laughs> like, click in my brain, like, okay, got it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know the person who did the thing. <laughs> yeah, this is how I identified. Like, what's the dynamic going on between us and the HXV team? I know I mentioned it and Ashton knew immediately who it was. And sometimes we <laughs> Or or I said Rotunda by library. Oh yeah, that was Alex and Light. Of course. Of course. How did I not come how did I not think of it? <laughs> it's so cool, dude. We're here to help. <laughs> We're just here to help. Each other too, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, this is an amazing, crazy example again. There's much more simpler things you can do. Like you don't have to go all out for stuff like that. I'm gonna head back to my house where we built things, and we can do some closing statements, and then I think we'll wrap up stream. Yep, that sounds about. Oh, sounds like a good idea. Um, hang on, let me check one thing real quick. Honestly, this is giving me so many ideas to... I had already been thinking about it, and when I think of a split-level house, I always often think of, like, the kitchen. Like a, like a realistic house. I always think of the kitchen being a step up. You know, like, you walk up into a kitchen, your living area might be a little sunken. And um, I'm wondering now, like, I'm feeling really inspired. I wonder if I'll do, do that, like, make a raised kitchen. Didn't you build a rice kitchen above a staircase just recently? Oh, we don't need to talk about it. I'm talking like, okay, yeah, you know, <laughs> maybe I just hate myself at some show base it, level. No. <laughs> show, show that place you did recently, because that's a great example, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I guess I could. Wait, did Div not curse on stream at all today? Now you, I'm turning professional. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we have talks with Div. Div also has wow. cursed on stream today, what you want about? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> means you're pulling me out like that, huh? Come on. No, I just, I, I, I cut off, when I say, usually I say holy, and then I just cut off at holy, so. I'm not convinced that Dayu doesn't review our VODs, just like, oh my has, God. has like a little tick list, and. Is, is that why we're getting so many strikes, Dayu? <laughs> is Dayu, oh my God, Dayu. Okay, every, every time we hit 10 points, Dayu just files a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, she's like, oh no, there! Oh no, it's happening again! 
Time to go for the waltz again. Oh no, we love you, Dayu. <laughs> no, she... <laughs> we 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 do this for you. We say fiddlesticks and uh, humble. I'm never gonna bug. say that. I don't know. I will never say it. Oh, hey, Fang. Oh, Fang said something like, oh, I sometimes recognize people by their builds and not by their name. And that's so true. When I say, the, the dude who built that one thing, that's how I identify them. <laughs> so, I, I think I'm just a very visual person, and I can just remember this with this person's name attached to it. But yeah, I built an elevated uh, little space here. Yeah, that's a great example. Just going around the corner like that. And see, just... See, there's an elevated kitchen. What are you, you literally walk into an elevated yeah, kitchen? What are you talking I, well, I, about? I know, and I'm, I'm into it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> See, stop me! I think I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> you want this build? I, I don't know if that's your intent or not, but it's more like the entryway is recessed than everything else is elevated. Yeah, which is very true. But honestly, that's a great feature. I wanted to do that all along when I first did the sky still thing, which I did in the end. Um, I just wanted that stone floor because you can't have a stone floor elevated, right? And just think about how you enter like the, the rough stone floor and like go up into the fancier stuff. I like that idea a lot, honestly. It is very lovely and clean. That's very true, Dayu. Great, great. Was it commission? Yep. Man. You guys did your commissions. I, I say that, but I didn't get paid. <laughs> I oh. did get paid, and I had major anxiety having to follow this. Oh, so, <laughs> oh my god. There's that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, follow, Barry. Yeah, it's been like... So, <laughs> I notice how we say we don't do commissions, but then we do commissions, but then they're super scuffed and we don't get paid for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I did this, and he told me, like, yeah, I went, like, future modern so i was like okay something to do um but yeah i didn't get paid yeah oh but well I, you know I, I do it because i enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> sometimes uh, you just feel bad to uh take money that too making, yeah making the creator run for the items or something like i do with tori for example i would never ask you for a payment because of the stuff i put you through <laughs> Yeah, honestly, once once money's involved, like like the the gill and all that stuff, it becomes like a pressure to. I know, uh, and I can't stand too. that. Mm -mm. <clears throat> yeah, oh. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> once money becomes a key factor in your house, the quality suffers from it, in my opinion, like ninety percent of the time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's I just... think the money's a factor. Your mentality suffers. Oh yeah. I have driven myself insane. I was gonna okay. just. Tiny note, completely irrelevant to levels. That low light and the way you've done the lighting in here, it changes these goblet chairs to silver. Oh, I find that really interesting. You mean the zero lane? Yeah. Like the actual, the trim. It's pretty golden, like realistically, like normally. It comes, I, I, base game, no reshade. It's silver. Oh, wow. That's so weird. It's because of the occlusion. What? Okay. Hmm. Couldn't say. That's so interesting. But yeah, coming back to the um, money thing, we talked about this earlier today uh, between us, and that was so interesting to talk about, honestly, just... It's a bit off-topic, you know, but I just wanted to talk about it because it's such an interesting topic when how the quality of your build, at least from a personal experience, just suffers from it because you want to satisfy the owner so much in what they want that it just turns into something that you personally only do either half us or you cool. just don't bother. Or you go way too much because you now have to deal with two people because you want to make something that you're happy with. And the yeah. pressure you put on yourself is so much you nearly have a meltdown. <clears throat> Mood. Do, you need, do you need to talk <sighs> about it, bud? Yeah, I'm retired. I'm, I'm, retired. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm not doing commissions anymore. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think having... When you do a commission and just... And you are feeling like that after a few commissions, you, you just have to say, hey... I'm gonna do this the way I want to. You're not gonna stop me. <laughs> it sounds so weird. But like, in, in, at the end, you're the designer. And as much as a person pays for the place to be decorated the way they the way they want to, you're the one actually building it and like having it as a creative outlet. And so it's such a weird area, like a gray area almost, where you're like, 
you're just torn. All right, so back here at the house, we had a lot of technical difficulties, but we did it. We made, honestly, yeah. I, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. Yeah. Definitely. I'm, ver I'm very happy with it too. And as we saw, as we showed you guys, there's like so many ways to do different kinds of levels and heights in both the floor, the elevation, the actual layout of your room, and the ceiling too, like we saw earlier in the rotunda, the um, mechanical ceiling, stuff like that. And there's just, and also uh, since amazing, very clean uh, ceiling that gives you so much uh, room to breathe, as you said, right? They're all so nice. And stuff like that is just so important to consider sometimes. And hopefully we can, we guys can show you, give you some explanations into how certain things feel like that. So it's always also nice to research it. Research it before a podcast, in my opinion. I think levels are a thing that are really heavily taken for granted in this game, even though people, pretty much everyone does tend to do them. because But they start to do them because of technical limitations without actual thought of what you're achieving with it true like building so, above the staircase right yeah i mean you cannot build over the staircase without it being off the floor you got a banister yeah. in the way that's a level was it rhapsody who did it or was it um andy Someone, someone, um, you guys know, remember when they used the railings, they just put it like a staircase above it, but they like dropped down again? It was one of the earlier days we, we visited, we, we actually... So wait, <sighs> they did something with the railing? Yeah, so remember they had, they branched off from the, uh, from the med house to the left, right? They went over the railings with the staircase and then went down again to the grand, to the base floor, and that didn't look too bad. They use the railings as a feature. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah. Okay. That was Risbin, wasn't it? R oh, was it Risbins? Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, that might be the case. That that might be the case. But that was another example. Just like the little elevation for the uh, little staircase they had to get, uh, just get over the railing, just the vibe of, yeah. you know. I, mean, I was gonna say in that. I don't know if you remember it, but that very first modern build I did, I built stairs that pretty much just covered the railings, and then just built an area. Literally on top of the banister, pretty much. Oh, to go up to the bed? Uh, no, was it, it bed? was. No, it was the earlier one than that. There was like a little library bit. Oh, I think I do remember. Yeah, man, that must have been such a struggle, honestly. <laughs> it was my first time properly floating stuff. It was awful. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we all know now how to get certain levels in place where you need it, especially for apartments and stuff like that. So if you guys have any, like, if you guys also struggle, there's also I immense inspirations on our sister Discord FD. Like, people post so much stuff there, and just recently people have been popping off again, like, constantly firing out the uh, work in progress pictures and, like, finished housing shop pictures, like, since, for example. And you can just be inspired to see what people do, of course, apart from that, on Twitter. And oh, yeah, stuff and, like yeah and speaking of Twitter, if you do uh, want to start working on with more elevation and floors and everything like let us know like tag us because we want to see what you guys make i the elevation kind of game for me is still sort of new so i would like kind ideas similar. yeah like people like take up on inspiration but we'd like to see all kinds of builds because they're always interesting to look at because not everyone builds the same except if it's a copy but you know <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. All right. Um, uh, so yeah. yeah, this is we're wrapping up, wrapping up, and tomorrow, Div, you are building, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm here. Uh, continue working on Tori's builds with the little uh, high tech, high, yeah, high tech uh, quarters, you could say. After I finish the elevator, so look forward to that. It's gonna happen at um, God Two PM. Yeah. 2 PM was it EST? Eastern. Yep. Yeah, okay, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm gonna uh, build some stuff for you guys, so uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, I'll try to pop in stream for some chat. Maybe Sint is able to as well, and uh, we'll just have a really chill day. Yep. Yeah. Right, 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 by the way. Yeah. Don't forget that. <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for the Thank stream. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See ya, bye. Have a good rest of your see weekend. You. Goodbye.